What is up guys, welcome back to another video and a lot of you guys have been asking for my uh, opinion and reaction on League of Legends Wild Drift which is the name for the League of Legends mobile that will come out. So currently the beta is out for Brazil and China. So if you want to play it, I think you have to use VPN. Um, but um, it will be globally released at the end of 2020 so it's not globally released yet. It's only in Brazil and China. I don't know why Brazil specifically but I know China since Tencent made the game China um, I guess China, Tencent's from China so it's just logical that it started there but I don't know why Brazil gets to do it first maybe they have connections with Riot over there or Tencent not quite sure but we'll, we'll see the video and I'll pause it maybe in the middle if I see anything that I want to comment on and um, point out to you guys to see if this will actually transition to mobile really really well well we'll see All right, so here we go we hope you're as excited as we are for what's coming for SR and TFT. There's something else we'd like to share. So here we something go. we've been working on for a while. And some of you might even be expecting to me. TFT isn't the <coughs> only thing going multi-platform. TFT is going to go to coming mobile, soon, that's good. We'll be bringing the lead experience to both mobile and There it is, League of Legends mobile. So that's let's cool. take a and consoles. So not just Legends mobile, consoles. What is this? <laughs> they have like a cool trailer look at the cinematic is already so much better like the way they're selling this game is already so much better than what they did for aov for for mobile legends never had this kind of thing like their production is just so much more professional as you can see like it's already so so noticeable right so let's move on that actually looks really nice the graphics looks really on point it looks like <laughs> league of legends on pc hey there it's michael it's crazy i've been dying to talk to you about the wild rift which is coming soon to console and mobile it's taken us years way way too long to do this but we had to get it right we needed to figure out how to bring a true league experience to mm -hmm. other platforms in a way that's worthy of your love your time your investment we think we've finally gotten there with the Wild Rift, and we're thrilled to be able to share it with you. Now, so, why bring League to other platforms in the first- Alright, let's stop for a second. So, instead of three skills, most likely, since it's League of Legends, they want to keep it, you know, as close to League of Legends PC as possible. It's four skills, and you have your OT is going to be right here. And I don't know, I heard that the level, the leveling is all the way to level 15, but on PC it's only level 18. So, from Suzy Sar, I, heard, I saw her Facebook um, page post that- she she was talking about it and i saw that you can actually level to level 15 not to level 18 so they made the game shorter and faster which is good i talked about this when the leak gameplay came out for league of legends mobile and the the leak banner uh, for league of legends mobile came out that they need to adapt to mobile they cannot just throw in pc and then to mobile right it's not gonna work the game is gonna take too long People are going to play for like 30 minutes and then their battery is going to be super low and they don't have enough time for that. But um, from, what I, from what I heard, they actually adapted the game style to mobile, which is super, super good, which I really, really appreciate. Super, super smart from, um, from League of Legends or Wild Rift team, whatever, their, their developer team. Uh, let's see. It looks good though. Like the graphics looks insane. Look at this. Um, it's really close to League of Legends PC. Um... What else can I say about this? Um, the buffs are still there, same mechanics. The bushes are still there, and everything. Like the the appearance is like on point. Um, I don't know how it will affect your phone if your phone is bad. So that that may be the only problem because the graphics looks good here. But hopefully they optimize it really well so that bad phones can run this game. All right, let's keep going. First place. Well, for years, many of you kind of like been telling us that the marquee league PC experience is sometimes tough to fit into your lifestyle, which can change from one week to the next, one month to the next, one year to the next. You've also been telling us that you simply can't play League with a lot of the friends you love to game with. Yes, because of their lifestyles as well, but also because League takes a long time to learn. The matches are really long and so See, on. There it is, so matches are really long. So we built a new rift that you can new play one. on console and mobile, 
with 15 to 20 minute matches. There it is, 15 to 20 minute matches. Usually the surrender button comes out at 20 minutes on League of Legends PC. But now on mobile, the end game is usually 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes average. So like close to Mobile Legends really, um, like actually 20 minute Mobile Legends game is considered long. So it's like that's late game already. So maybe it's a little bit, Mobile Legends is more uh, fast paced than League of Legends from what it sounds like, from what he's saying. Since like Mobile Legends usually takes like 10 minutes, 12 minutes or so around there. Um, but this one's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, not too bad. It still uh, takes a little long, but again, it comes out at late 2020 so they could still make some changes they could still make some changes for me personally i think they should make it a lot faster the the pace a lot faster rather than making it 15 to 20 minutes should make it lower down to like 10 minutes 12 minutes or so because people don't ain't nobody got time for that all right let's let's keep going the baron looks good actually and a dual stick control scheme that's intuitive and satisfying and still oh look at the last hit so you could last hit by doing this i don't know exactly how you're gonna control that yeah, I don't know how you're gonna control that. Maybe there's like a an auto attack button here and then you aim it with your you can aim it wherever you want. The trinket, you have two skills. So instead of just you know how Mobile Legends has one and, and the regen, this one has two. You know, you it's like having so for mobile legends you can only have like flicker as one. But this one you have two spells. Like uh flicker and like ignite or flicker heal or flicker something else, okay? Um, the trinkets are still there, so the wards are still there. The uh, masteries are still there, or what's it called? The pages now? Yeah, it's still there, so it's kind of like the Mobile Legends, uh, Mobile Legends, League of Legends PC. From what it looks like here, it shows your passives here. Um, and your gold, uh, what else do we see here? And they put some pings as well. They have tower lock mode, This is they have minion lock. So maybe this is for the minion to last, last hit, so that's good. And it looks like you can you can move it, see? This has the ar the arrow right here. So you can move it to which minion you gotta last hit. If you have never played League of Legends before, you need to last hit each minion or else you don't get gold. If you don't last hit it, you don't get gold. So if you're used to Mobile Legends where you just kill the minions, you will have a really hard time playing League of Legends Wild Drift. I'm telling you that because it's not like Mobile Legends where you just keep killing minions and you get gold. You need to last hit these minions, all right? You need to last hit these minions. All right, let's keep going. And look at the fog of war. It's not the whole lane. Look, it's not the whole lane. Even the the you know the fog of war in between the towers are dark. So you can actually hide there and make some plays. It, this game is gonna be way harder than mobile lanes, guys. I could already tell by how this is looking out. I don't know what this means right here. Um, yeah, I don't know what. Maybe those the those are the leaves that give you HP. I'm guessing. There's the crab right there. It, this one moves around back and forth in the river. Um, and I think it's supposed to, there's supposed to be one right here as well. The jungles are still there, and of course the blue buff and the red buff. It's not gonna be like Mobile Legends where the red buff and the blue buff are the same thing. It's gonna have different effects. All right, so you guys need this is gonna be a higher skill cap game. It's gonna be harder for people to play if they want. Uh, if the developers of League of Legends Wild Rift want to make the experience like closely to what PC offers you. Um, they don't want the League of Legends concept to go away. They want to keep it and if they want to keep it They need to stick with this. It's the skill cap is a lot higher than Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends is like For dumb people I like I wouldn't say dumb people, but like it's super easy. It's easy to pick up. It's user-friendly Okay, don't be saying dumb people was bad but super deep. About, say like We've also hitting. added some new systems that preserve the core 5v5 the gameplay The skill shot looks the same as Mobile We're Legends. We're adding a few twists that we think really shine on mobile and console. Now, Wild Rift is not a port of the PC game. Taking See? SR and just it's shutting not the it on port the, of the PC game, which is good. That's what they're supposed to do. To get this the gameplay good. just right, mm -hmm. we needed to rebuild from scratch. We spent a long time making sure this will be a true League of Legends experience. Do you guys notice this? Like, if you've played AOB before, if you move your character with your analog stick on AOV, it feels really, really slow. But from what it looks like, the way he's moving his analog stick, it's kind of how Mobile Legends character work. When when Mobile Legends character move, characters move, it's a lot faster. Like there's no delay into it. But for AOV, there's like that slight delay where characters move when you're trying to move your analog stick, your D-pad. So I feel like this is gonna be good. It's gonna be really close to what Mobile Legends gives you control-wise. So if you're like a good Mobile Legends player, you could 
probably transition pretty well if you have the mechanics already. The only thing that you need to improve on is itemization, the knowledge of the game, the knowledge of the heroes and stuff like that, and last hitting. And you need to back every time. Um, you need to back every time you buy items. You cannot buy items while you're in lane. That's not how League of Legends work, but that's if you're a Mobile Legends player, you're used to buying items in lane and not needing to recall. You need to recall to get your items. Um, so here we go. It looks like it looks That's nice so far. Man. Devoting it's your precious game time. Wild Rift has incredible decks, and you can make those same badass 200 IQ outplays and team plays you know and love from League PC. Okay, Vi, ulti. Nice. Zed, Zed. I would imagine Zed would be super hard to play here. Nice ulti from Yasuo. Holy shit! What the hell? Nice block from Braum. Freaking Fiora with Nasus. Vayne with Blitzcrank. Shivana we'll with this. With you. There are some nice. downsides to the From Scratch approach we've taken. We're not going to have every single champ and skin available on all platforms. That, that's fine, that's fine. That's, uh, this is actually really good. Like, you don't force heroes and don't force skins. That's not the important part of the game. You wanna you wanna perfect the mechanics and you wanna satisfy people on how the game is played. This is super smart. I like I like the way how this guy or how you know Riot itself is approaching this this game right now. The way he's talking about it right now, it it really impresses me. This is how a game is supposed to be worked on. You don't wanna keep throwing out skins just because you want money. That kinda sounds similar, right? Because we know how it feels like. We don't want skins. Fix the game. We want the game fixed. We don't really care about skins that much. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool here and there to have like really epic skins. But if that's all you can offer, it doesn't, you know, having better game satisfaction is way better than giving us skins. So if you're Moonton, Moonton, if you're watching this, you, you need to step your game up for real. You need to step your game up. You need to be worried of what's coming at, at the end of 2020. Because by, by the way, this guy's talking. I'm already impressed by how he's, with his words, his choice of words, and everything, it's, it's just correct, it's point on right now. Although you won't get the same unlocks between League on PC and this version, you will get great rewards for the time you've spent with League over the last 10 years. But like I said, we think these trade-offs are worth it. Starting from scratch has given us the look opportunity to do oh a full visual remaster. It looks so good. Remaster it doesn't even look mobile, it game. looks like PC. We've also taken the time to build an all new collection system that lets you show off all your champs and skins in an incredibly oh, immersive way. We think this is so dope. We're just going to play this for a bit so you can it enjoy it. It looks so clean, it. who is this? I forgot who that is, who is that? Is that Oriana? That was Oriana. This is Fizz? Oh, it's Rumble. Triple Vi. Dara Garen, freaking Jace? Oh no, it's, it's oh it's Garen. Uh, Ash, okay, that's Jinx. You guys might be surprised because I know a lot about League of Legends. I used to play League, so uh, this is Malphite. That's Malphite. This is freaking Alistar. People, are like, oh that's Minotaur. Yo. Like I would laugh if people from Mobile Legends, oh you guys copied, you guys copied Minotaur from Le from Mobile Legends, and when they see Minotaur, oh my god, this is Annie. So good. Who is this? What the fuck? Why is it for us, Brom? Or is Brom? <laughs> We've got so much more to show you, but that's everything from me for now. As you saw earlier, League on PC has some huge plans ahead, but mm -hmm. we'd love for you to join us on the Wild Rift when the game releases in your region. We're rolling out limited alphas and betas in select regions later this year, with plans to roll out on most platforms and most regions globally by Someone the end of 2020. Sorry, so whether you're grinding we'll right on now. Summoner's Rift... Man, I'm excited for this, actually. It looks good right now, guys. Like, it's looking good right now. It's not looking good for Moonton, for sure. Moonton, you need to, Going you need full to glacial watch out. TFT. I mean, this is what we said for AOV, right? But this is League of Legends. Like, we We're know how it's supposed a game to be like. Wild Rift. We hope that there's a place for you and your friends to dive into the world of League together. Man... The way they market this game is so good. Like, Mobile Legends has never had something like this. Never. Even AOV never had something like this. Coming to mobile and console starting 2020. Oh my god, I'm, f I'm freaking hyped. Yeah, I'm freaking hyped. Alright, let's talk about it a little bit and summarize a little bit. So, key points here is, like, 
AOV never had this kind of marketing and that's why they kind of fell off because it was just it was just Tencent. Tencent is a big company, yes, but League of Legends already made a name. Like people know about this game already. It's not like AOV where it started from scratch and nobody knows the heroes, everybody's new to it and all that. Um, there is a AOV version in China, which is different, Kings of Glory or something like that. I, I forgot, but it's more popular than than um, than AOV. So there, it's only popular there in Asia. But here, League of Legends already made a name in PC, so people will definitely know and switch and make maybe for the PC gamers try out mobile and maybe they like it. You know, you'll never know. So this is gonna have a lot of population for it's like PUBG Mobile. It's like PUBG PC coming to PUBG Mobile. So you see how big PUBG Mobile is right now because a lot of people already knew PUBG from PC. So they're like, oh, PUBG Mobile. All right. So we already know how the game will is gonna be played like Call of Duty. Same thing. Man, Moonton is not. There's so many good games that are coming out right now, and Moonton, Mobile Legends need need to watch out. Maybe Mobile Legends will still be alive in the Philippines and Indo because it's so big. But like globally, League of Legends will take over. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Marketing, I could. Look, you see how this is this advertisement? I wouldn't even say an advertisement. It's a trailer. You see how professional this trailer is. Moonton never made something like this. Not even close. The closest thing was what? The K-pop K-pop thing that they did. Th that was probably it. Nothing else. They did like a commercial with freaking Doggy and Nadine Lustre. That was like mediocre. This is like something else, right? Um, the marketing is just insane on this. And globally, it will just take over the MOBA genre for mobile. The mobile genre for mobile. MOBA genre for mobile. There you go. Um, Mobile Legends will still be alive, I think, in the Philippines and Indo, but everywhere else. North America, Europe, U uh, Korea, for sure. Korea is big on League of Legends. Um, and other countries that are kind of excluded in the Mobile Legends special treatment kind of shit, right? So people are not going to feel, you know, like an outcast anymore, like what Moonton is doing to North American people and to European players. So hopefully... Um, League of Legends can, you know, adjust a little bit more and learn from what Mobile Legends has. I wouldn't say copy, just adapt the gameplay so that people are satisfied and, um, you know, so the game doesn't take too long. It, it needs to be a little bit more user-friendly as well, but I get that they want to keep the League of Legends mobile experience as pure as possible, so I don't know if they're going to do that, we'll see. But if they want a lot of people playing in mobile, they definitely need to make it more user-friendly so it's easier for people to understand and play. But for me, I don't really care because I used to play League and I enjoy League even with all the complications that it gives you. Um, you need to learn the hero skills, keep track of cooldowns, warding, keeping vision. Um, you need to know your masteries and all that. There used to be runes, but runes got taken out. Um, there used to be like active items, so you need to. There's more active items in League of Legends than Mobile Legends, way more. Um, what else is there? There's just a lot more to keep track of, keeping track of CS, and and all that. You know, the objectives are more crucial on League of Legends. I feel like, um, and, and that's it. I mean, comment down below if you guys have anything else to say. Um, on top of my head, that's all I can say. But if you guys have any. Of your own opinion of what could happen to mobile legends or what you think league of legends has to offer then make sure to comment that below um, don't forget to like this video and let's try to get 2,000 likes again on this video if if possible if you guys enjoyed this content don't forget to like and subscribe and that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching i am out peace